Over the years, gymnastics routines have become very formulaic and even predictable. Most gymnasts perform the same range of skills, and the code of points doesn't exactly promote diversity and originality. Whether it doesn't fit properly in the composition, the actual reward is pretty much non-existent, or the likelihood of large deductions is high, the reasons for the lack of variety are diverse. In this video, we'll take a look at five rare balance beam sideward elements. Commonly referred to as a Yurchenko loop, this acrobatic skill consists of a flick flack from side position to front support or with hip circle backward. It was upgraded from C to D in the 2022 code. Hip circles on beam used to be more popular two decades ago, but went out of style as soon as the new scoring format was introduced. Gymnasts must have an element or choreography touching the beam with a part of the torso, which includes the thigh, knee, or head, to avoid a point one deduction, so this skill would be perfect to fulfill that requirement. The side somersault mount consists of a salto forward in a tucked position to side stand. There's barely any footage of it as we haven't seen it performed for over 20 years. It carries a D rating in the current code and is in the same box as the front tuck mount, which is much more common. Submitted by French gymnast Elvire Teza at the 1997 World Championships, it's described as a jump to oversplit with an arched body position and head dropped backward. This E-rated skill is commonly known as a Yang Bow from side position. In addition to requiring a tremendous amount of flexibility, the gymnast also loses sight of the apparatus, making it one of the most challenging dance elements on the balance beam. Named after Russian gymnast Anastasia Kolesnikova, it consists of a flick flack from side position with a half turn to side handstand and carries a D rating. The code specifies the end position is optional. These types of handstand elements resemble the 90s era of the sport, and they were particularly popular among Eastern European gymnasts. In contrast, modern gymnastics focuses more on tumbling as well as connecting skills to boost the difficulty score. The Phillips mount consists of a press to side handstand, followed by a walkover forward to side stand. It's rated D and carries the name of American gymnast Christy Phillips. The amount of back flexibility required to execute this element is ridiculous, and unfortunately, handstand mounts, showcasing balance, control, and strength, have disappeared from most routines. What's your favorite element off this list? 